Hi, this is Vonda. I'm with KVP International. And my name's Tess. And we're here to show you the Balto Splint today. So as we show you the Balto Splint today, please make sure to stay to the end to hear a bonus tip with this particular brace. When used properly, the Balto Splint gives amazing support for front limb laxities, especially associated with the carpal joint. The Balto Splint is a unique brace that has a curved aluminum support down the backside. You can see it in this pocket here. This particular brace is going to give specific support to the front end and it's actually going to sit right up underneath the paw pad so that you have that posterior support on the leg. When you're applying it, you want to make sure that you affix the bottom strap first and then move up from there and snug up as needed. So when you are going to fit your Balto splint, you want to make sure you palpate down here for the larger paw pad underneath your pet's paw because that is where you're going to center this brace and they're essentially going to be walking on this one. So as you affix it, you wanna make sure you put the bottom strap on first. And then go to the top strap. Good boy, you're such a good boy, Bill. and make any adjustments that you need as you move along. And then they will actually step down on this brace so that when you have a patient that has that front end laxity, that they don't have the support from the tendons and ligaments up through the back side of that front leg, this brace is gonna give them what they need to continue to have mobility. So what do I do if I order too big of a size or too small of a size? So if you end up with a size that doesn't fit your patient completely, then you want to get a hold of one of our team members at KVP Ortho and we'll help you switch it out for the correct one. And how do I select the correct size? So after you get your measurements of your carpal joint and the length of the leg, if you are between sizes, like between a small and a medium, go with the little bit smaller size. That way you still have the support, but not too big a brace. What age is recommended uh, for use for these braces? So we don't necessarily have an age recommendation. I would just work with your veterinarian on the best fit and the best opportunities for your patient. Can these braces be used in place of surgery? So if surgery is the best option for your patient, then you definitely wanna talk with your veterinarian about those options. If you need to use these braces in the interim while you save up the funds for surgery, then it might be your best support product for that time. So how long can my pet keep this brace on and are they able to sleep in it as well? We don't normally recommend that they sleep in the brace. In fact, when you first get started with the Balto splint and a lot of our braces, you'll wanna start with around 30 minutes the first day, work up to an hour, two hours, and eventually you wanna have 12 hours on and 12 hours off so that the skin and coat have a chance to breathe. And I leave my dog alone wearing this brace? We don't typically recommend that you leave your dog unsupervised with the brace on, but if you need to walk away from them for a few minutes or if they need to be in their crate with the brace on, we typically recommend that you pair this with one of our preferred e-collars. So how long should it take for the dog to adapt to the brace? Most of our patients adapt within a week to two weeks. Again, starting with that 30 minute time frame and working up to 12 hours on and 12 hours off, give it about two weeks to adapt. If you need to put it on a little bit looser the first day or two, just to get them used to having it on, then that's your best way to do that. Especially with the braces that go directly on the legs. Some of these patients, even though they need the support, as soon as we put a brace on, they are certain that we have just cut their leg off. So we want to get them used to something actually being there and then it will become more supportive for them. And are these braces all also waterproof? So they're not waterproof, uh, but you can get them wet, especially when you've got this one that they're essentially gonna be walking on. So our bonus tip on this one is that when you take them outside to potty, put a sock or a booty or a plastic bag over this brace just to keep it a little bit cleaner. When you need to wash it, remove that aluminum slint from the backside of the brace and you can cold hand wash it and then hang to dry.